for tuning in again. Today I'm going to be doing one of the looks that Brandy is wearing in her latest music video. Um, I'm going to be posting the inspiration picture of what I used. I'm going to be posting those on my blog, mischievous.tv, so make sure to check down below. I'll have a link there and of course I'll be listing all the products and everything that I use, so head over to my blog if you're interested in that. If you enjoy this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you left me a thumbs up and a comment. That would be really awesome. So without much further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. So to start out with, I wanted to use a cream eyeshadow as a base, and this is in a silvery color. And I only realized after I filmed this tutorial that this is actually a really horrible product, so I actually don't recommend this at all. But just use any kind of silvery or even a charcoal base just to really get the colors to pop. Now for the lid color, it looks like Brandy's wearing this kind of silvery charcoal, so I don't have the exact color and I don't know what was used, so I'm kind of going to mix these two colors together to achieve a similar result. And first I applied the silver color using a flat shading brush and just pressing that on. And then I used some of this Berry M pigment and just kind of put that on top. And this kind of, to me, is a really, really similar color to what was used on Brandy. At least I think so. So then I used just a blending brush and just blended out the edges and just really softened that down. Now for doing the smoky look, I'm really using three different eyeshadows. I'm using a light brown, a warm brown, and then this kind of charcoaly gray color. So those are like the main three colors that I used for this. So you can definitely vary this with whatever eyeshadows that you wish. And first I applied the soft brown color, that sort of lighter brown color, and just blended that in. And I also actually applied some of it just underneath the inner corner of my brows. And that really kind of gives this sculpted look for the eyes. And then I used the darker, the warmer brown color. This kind of has like a mahogany tone to it and just really intensified that right in the crease, sticking to the outer area. For the highlight, I used, again, two different colors. So just keep it simple. Just use whatever eyeshadows that you have. It doesn't, you don't have to recreate my looks with the exact same products, but I just applied that underneath my brows just to blend it out. And then I went in with a black coal pencil, something that's really soft that you can easily smudge, and just applied that to the top lash line and also along the lower lashes. Then I used a pencil brush just to blend that out, and this is really going to start to make that look really, really smoky and just more dark and dramatic. If you have any messes or any areas that you need to clean up, I think a Q-tip is just a really easy way how to do that. So here I'm just kind of sculpting the shape. And then I followed up that with that gray eyeshadow just along the lower lashes as well. Now on the inner highlight, it looks like Brandy has this very warm golden tone. So I kind of try to replicate that look. Of course, if you have darker skin, this is going to show up a lot differently. It's going to make it look much more intense than if you have very fair skin like I do. And under the brows, I wanted to use a highlighting pencil, so this is just going to add a little bit of shimmer underneath the highest point of my brows. This is going to help them make look more defined, and it's just going to add a really pretty highlight right there. So then I applied mascara on both the top and the bottom, and this is really just in preparation for the lashes, which I'm going to apply. So in Brandy's video, it looks like she's actually wearing lashes on the top and the bottom, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. So I applied a pair of strip lashes on the top, just using some duo adhesive and some tweezers. I just find that a lot easier. And then I basically did the same thing on the lower lashes. So you just want to use um, under lashes and just flip them the correct way so that they're pointing kind of downwards. So here I'm just kind of pressing them on and you can see the same step that I'm doing for my lower lashes and you want to put these on underneath your natural lashes so don't put them on top of the hair. So for the cheeks I wanted a really pretty pink glow. I've already actually done some contouring prior to filming so this is really just going to add to that sculpted cheek look. So I'm using a really pretty shimmery pink blush. And then I added just a little bit of highlight just on the tops of my cheekbones. And this is really going to give a very sculpted look to my face. 
Now in the video, Brandy is wearing nude lips, so of course, depending on whatever skin tone you have, you're gonna have to choose different lipsticks that will match your own skin. So here I'm just falling with a nude that would, you know, go with my own lips, and then I just put some gloss on top. So feel free to vary this with whatever color suits your skin tone. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial for this brandy inspired look. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, I would really, really appreciate if you guys left a comment, let me know what you think, and also make sure to like this video. Also, you can check me out on Facebook and on Twitter. I'll have the links at the end. So thank you so, so much guys for watching and I hope to see you back very soon.